Texas Greg football. Powers, TexasFootball.com. Dave Campbell's Texas Football. And like we do every week, uh, we're joined by one of the top recruits in the Lone Star State. This week it's Ashton Cozart. Man, your recruiting has really been blowing up here recently, but that's because you've been putting that work in on and off the field. Uh, kind of just tell everybody what it's been like for you. I know that you're a guy who played your first full year in, against Texas competition, moving in from Washington. Tell us what that move was like and what it was like playing underneath the Friday Night Lights in Texas. Um, it's a it's a big difference, sir. Um, really, in Washington, you know, it's not as competitive as it is here. You know, it's never the same, um, especially the Texas football. Um, the transition was pretty good, you know, moving over here. I love it here a lot, actually. You know, um, it's very fun. There's a lot of things to do other than football. But um, playing football here is just – it's crazy because it, um, I would always grow up knowing that um, Texas football is just, like, it's the real deal. And actually playing against the competition over here was definitely a blessing. And um, I love it here. Um the competition here, I can say, is a lot harder than I'm used to, you know, but I love that because, you know, at the end of the day, it makes me better and it's a lot more fun. Ashton, next year you're going to be playing for Flower Mound Marcus. They play in one of my favorite districts. It seems like every Friday night is a war in that district, man. How excited are you to be getting a taste of that competition and playing for the Marauders, a team that's rich in Texas high school football history. Um, I'm really excited, man. You know, watching a lot of their highlight videos, it gets me pumped, and especially playing with the quarterback that I'm used to and I've already known for a little bit. Um, I play with a couple of the receivers on seven on seven, and, you know, we have a really good connection, and I, I can't wait to play with them, especially playing against really good competition in the 6 A football in Texas. I imagine the quarterback you're talking about, Cole Welliver, a uh, guy that's really starting to come on the radar uh, himself. Is he the truth? Oh, absolutely. You know, no doubt about it. He's the best in this class. Um, you know, I can't wait to see what it looks like to play with him, you know, in Texas football. Um, I can't wait to – I just can't wait to play with him. When you moved to, t to Texas from Washington, one of my really good friends at 24-7 Sports, Brandon Huffman, gave me the heads up that you were coming this way so that I could put you on my radar. Um, good friend for doing that, man, because he was definitely right about your skill set. Uh, but just kind of talk about what you see makes you that special, where someone like that could identify you that's in the, the business, evaluates recruits for a living, could identify something special in you. What are you bringing to the table? What makes you a uh, recruit that all these schools are really hot after? Um, I think for me personally is like, I feel like I have a great, um, a great height, you know, be me being 6'3", um, I'm 185, um, and I run a 4440. So it's like, I also run a 10, 7, 100 meter. So I feel like being as fast as I am with the size that I am, you know, you don't really see that a lot. You can't really coach that. So I feel like I bring a lot of, you know, um, talent to the table. And I'm also, I feel like, what these coaches see when in my film is that I'm a lot quicker than, you know, the average bigger dude, um, you know, especially off the line, you know, um, I feel like my biggest, like my biggest, like uh, specialty is like being as quick as a slot, but I, as big as I am on the outside, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, man. I see that speed come through on film too. And it's rare. I, you know, I see the verified speed and, you know, under, Around that 10.5, 10, 10.75, 10, 100 meter speed definitely shows through on tape as well. Anybody you look up to, pattern your game after it all? Is there like a receiver out there that you really grew up idolizing? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I talked to, um, I actually trained with DK Metcalf back in Seattle. You know, oh, wow. uh, before I didn't really see any other receivers, like big time receivers that I played like until, you know, I met him and started training with him. You know, me and him share like the same height. Um, and he shows the speed and the, the great um, the ball handling skills and just, you know, I feel like me and him are very similar. Sounds like you might be a little bit of a Seahawks fan, then. Is this true? Absolutely. So when that Russell Wilson to Dallas Cowboys talk was getting hot, you know, before Dak signed his deal, was that making you nervous or were you like, no way Russell Wilson's going in? Dude, no. Yeah, it did make me nervous. Really, I was like, <laughs> hey. 
you, you know, just looking at your offer list, man, I think you picked up your 20th offer this week and it was from Texas a and I might be off by one or two. You might have more than that. But you hit that 20 offer plateau already. I'm just kind of talking general big picture, what it's like to have 20 colleges coming at you from. I mean, you basically got them from coast to coast now. Yeah, it's crazy because it's like, you know, um, training all the way up to this point in this year, you know, I was always worried about, I was like, okay, am I getting looked at? Am I, you know, um, am I doing the right things? Am I talking to the right people? And, you know, training with Coach Hooks, I definitely met the person that helped me a lot throughout this, um, you know, my journey and my recruiting. And, you know, having all these opportunities now, it really just motivates me more to get to the point that I'm trying to get, like, my goal. And, you know, I feel like it, within each one, it kind of, like, pushes me another notch. You mentioned Coach Hooks. He's a guy I've known for a really long time, a friend of mine, and he trains some of the top wide receivers. Uh in this area that have not only had success in high school, but that have had success in college. Um, what are some of those things that he's taught you since you've been able to land with him when you, when you got to the Lone Star State? Um, the first training session I had with Coach Hooks, you know, it was kind of rough. He th he shows a lot of different, you know, drills and things. He shows me a lot of different things that I'm not used to. And, you know, it was a hard, it was kind of a hard transition um, coming over here and training with him. You know, I kind of got down because I was like, I felt like I wasn't really getting nowhere, but, you know, I, I just trust the process, and whenever I was training with him more and more and more, you know, he started showing me different things that work a lot um, against, like, certain defenses and stuff like that. And I'm blessed to have him as a coach. He's the best. I'm sure he had to show you some dusty old BYU tapes whenever he was breaking down some of these drills he's done. Oh, absolutely. He sends them to me all the time. <laughs> uh, I think your first offer was from Arizona State. Is that true? And what – I guess it makes sense. You're kind of Pac-12 guy in a, in, a, in a lot of ways, moving from the Pacific Northwest down to Texas. What did it mean to you when you when you got that first one? It was from a P5 school. It's crazy because I remember that day like it was yesterday. You know, I woke up. Um, you know, I got a call from um, my old coach Tracy Ford um, and Coach Hooks. You know, they were talking about you know Arizona wants to talk to you today, and you know, I woke up at like it was really early, like seven o'clock and no, it was like, no, it was like five. And I like, I woke up to those texts and I was like, I was kind of like super nervous all day, like and anxious, like waiting for a call. But then, you know, whenever it was that time, it was like eight at night. So like, you can imagine like that whole day, just kind of like always checking my phone or just like, you know, staying in the room, you know, waiting for that call or whatever. And then, um, you know, when the time came, Coach Hicks was like, give him a call. Um, you know, we had a great conversation. It was really a blessing. Um, it's hard to tell how, like, I felt because it was just like, dang, this really just happened. You know what I mean? It was the first. Right. Um, kind of just break down those schools that haven't, I mean, with 20 offers, I mean, you got a lot of good options, but are there some that are still talking to you hot and heavy that you feel like could offer? If they step to you, it could be maybe a game changer. There's some that you're hungry for. Um, you talking about like offers that I want that I haven't? Yeah, had? definitely. Are there some of those offers out there that you really feel um, you'd like to see come across the board? Absolutely. You know, I'd love to see a Ohio State or an LSU or even an OU. You know, OU and I have talked um, plenty of times. You know, on Zoom calls or Facetimes. Uh, we talked about going to a couple camps, um, checking out the facilities so they can see me in person. They de they're definitely a school that wants to offer, but um, I just got to show a little bit more, I guess. You've got some really good in-state attention already. Uh, TCU, Texas, Texas a m have all offered you. Um, does Texas have a hook in you a little bit already? Would you think about actually staying now in the Lone Star State to play your college ball for a school like that? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's always been a dream, especially at TCU. Um, TCU has definitely been like a school I always talked about even as a little kid. Um, so is Texas, you know, being up there in the um, Pacific Northwest, you know, you don't really think of things like that. You you really just think about the the Wazoo, the UW, the Eastern Washington, the Oregon, you know, the schools like that um, on the West Coast. You don't really think of schools down here in the SEC or, um, you know, the schools in the South. And you know, getting the opportunity to actually, you know, play there is really crazy to me, and I absolutely. 
A&M was your latest offer, and I think that's a big one because they're a team that a lot of people are putting in the national title hunt next year. You know, they were they had a great season last season and have a lot of high expectations. So when you got that offer, I think a lot of people notice it's probably going to open up even more doors for you on the national level. What did it mean to you to, to get one from the Aggies? Is it a school you've ever really looked into much? Um, you know, really the only t- Texas schools I looked into the most was, you know, TCU, the the Longhorns, and just really them. You know, I know I know a couple of people that went to A&M, and they said they really liked it. You know, it's definitely a school that I'm really going to look into. I know I'm going to go to a camp soon, you know, and check out the facility and everything. I can't you wait. Mentioned the, you mentioned the next question I'm going to ask, man, the dead period. It's over. You know, you guys are able to go out and take visits and meet with coaches and really uh, start to take control of your recruitment. Who, where, are, where are some of those trips that you feel like you have to have before you step your foot back out on the field for your your next varsity season? Who do you got to see this summer to try to start to get your list together and narrow it down? Um, I'm seeing TCU tomorrow, actually. Um, okay. TCU tomorrow. I know I'm going to uh, Texas on the 12th. Um, I know I'm going to Miami on the 28th. Um, I want to go see – I'm going to go see a and at the camp. Um, we talked about going to LSU. And we talked about going to OU. So you got a busy uh, summer coming up then, getting to go see a lot of colleges in person. So good luck Absolutely. with good luck with earning some more offers, man, and uh, trying to check out some of those schools that have already extended you an offer. I know that you have a tough decision-making process in front of you trying to narrow that down. Uh, thanks for your time, man, and uh, good luck with your 2021 season. Thank you so much for having me.